Hey guys, and welcome back to the Mindplex servers. We are playing some Hunger Games as the weekly goes, and this is our solo one. I'm pretty excited to see how I can do with myself. The Mindplex servers have been a little bit iffy recently, um, as I'm sure a lot of you noticed. Um, the oh, that's great. That's a that's a great camera angle there. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. That's this guy. I don't think he knows me. He just tossed stuff like, in the way of the camera. Oh well. Um, so yeah, the Mindplex servers have been apparently DDoSed recently, and it's been an annoying... Um, situation when I wanted to do a stream, you know, to, um, you know, show off and play with you guys and all that. And I, I've not been able to, um, but it seems like they're a little bit more stable now. Hopefully I can do that soon and get to streaming on uh, Mindplex a little bit more often and all that uh, once it's stable again. But for now, let's play a Hunger Games and uh, do a bit of domination, shall we? Okay, here we are on the Shattered Kingdom. I have gone knight because we've not played the knight class in a long time. Just means I take a little bit less damage and I can blind people with a pummel, with a slap to the face. Oh, not bad, not bad. No weapon, no weapon, but again, not bad. Right, so uh, we have a chest plate and we have um, some legs. Chain legs as well, they're not bad at all. Um, although I have put on leather ones accidentally there. All right, so we have this fellow on my right, annoyingly. Not much I can do about that, so he's got a chest there. I'm just going to run into the trees then, if he's going to take that corner. And that should do it for me, alright? Uh, you know, I'm going to need to eat, because I'm not reaching anymore. And we're going to need to swap the legs. There we go. So we technically have some food to deal with, so we can sprint around for a little bit. Make use of that. And, uh, yeah, armor. So, weapon is the goal. Um, how do we get inside this building, exactly? There's, like... No, like, clear entrance. There we go, I ran past it like a, a a moron. I just basically ran through the whole thing. How close is someone? 90. Okay, the closest person to me is far away. We have the enchantment table there. Try and, like, mentally make a note of that. Uh, that's it. Okay, right, so, with the compass, at least I know how close someone is. And obviously, very usefully, um, I'll know where the supply drop is when it comes uh, which will be really, really useful. I've not been to this section of the map before. It's like a jungly sort of area in the trees. I like it. I like it a lot. Parkour! Parkour! Um, sadly, it looks like there's no chest in here. Okay. Not been to this area before, so you have to forgive me with the chest spawns. Okay. How about in here? No? Really? This is a little bit disappointing, don't you think? No, no chest in the tree area, really. And the frost is right there, so we're on the outskirts of the map right now. We have a guy who is 200 meters away from us, so we got plenty of time. There's, there's no threat right now to rush around and get the uh, weapons and armor we need, but uh, I would like to have them anyway, so uh, we're okay. Right, I'm going to loot this place as fast as I can, um, due to the fact that the frost is right there. Really? Okay, good, we got, we got something. Nice, nice, and mushroom stew. So, not bad. Not bad, we're going to keep the mushroom stew, like, on the third slot, I think. Okay, cool, so that's regen in a fight. We've got, like, pretty good armor, and we have technically some food. There's a weapon, there's some boots. Nice, okay, this'll do, this'll do. All right, so we have three chests here, nice, that's what we're talking about. Who, who's closest? 100 meters away, we're still good. All right, nothing of worth there. Uh, nothing there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all my shit here because this is going to be fr frozen, this area, in like a moment, so no one will be able to get there. No one will be able to get those chests that I've just put stuff there. Okay, right, let's quickly check up here. Frost is on its way. It's getting pretty close now. A little bit nervous about that. Eat some bread while we climb. Nice, there's a chest in here. Lots of things in here. And they're not worth our time, but the boat will. The boat is good. Okay, let's check the compass. 128 meters towards frost really they must be like right on the edge all right let's check this one. Ooh, chest right there before we go in there oh shit frost is really close to this chest got it but it wasn't really worth it <laughs> a bit risky there sticks oh i can see a player right there i'm all right we do have a weapon we do have pretty good gear so there's always that chance that we can handle him and we're a knight so we can we can take a bit of damage you know we can take a bit oh supply drop about to happen here we go I'm going to start making my way towards, like, the center. Uh, because it is turning to night, so supply drops on its way. I looted all those chests on my left. Um, so nearest player is Ender Kid. Supply drop location. Got it, right. So we're just going to chill out and kind of just, like, stealth around. We want to, like, find a nice hiding spot, like always, so that, uh, you know, we've got a chance of taking it. And the mushroom stew is probably going to really make a difference. It looks like it's going to be 
potentially in that huge area. No, that would be, it'd be closer if it was. That huge area is where a supply drop usually happens, but it um, doesn't seem like that's the case this time. It seems like it's even further. I can see a guy there. I'm going to have to go across here if I'm going to make it in time. Okay. Usually there's chests in this area. This guy is running around. Okay, 200 meters. I'm going to sneak up on him. This is a fight that's about to happen, but again, I'm struggling to find the entrance to this fucking place. Uh, it didn't have anything of worth, and now I don't know where the supply drop was. That was a real big mistake. That was like throwing the supply drop away. Someone now has really good gear, and I just like completely gave that up. What a noob I am. What a newbie noob I am. Okay. Well, I, I'm chasing this guy just because... Well, hopefully you're going to find that supply drop. Because he might find something in these chests. You never know. He might, ha he might have a stone sword, and I could use that, you know? So I'm a shit, but might have a good weapon. Okay, I did catch him out there. He's got a fishing rod that he's attacking me with. Right. And he fell to his death. Okay, well, he had food. Let's get rid of the crap. And then a bow. Nice. All crap must go. All right, the compass is telling me that someone's pretty fucking close. Pretty fucking close indeed. And we'll just keep dropping all crap. Some food on the bars. There he is. Alright, so he uh, has better gear than me, weapon wise. He's coming down to me. So I'm going to try and take the high ground, see if I can outplay him that way. Just like that. Just get the sneak attack on him. Beautiful. Like that. You see that? Bit of skill for you. Bit of skill for you. All right. Check the compass, see if anyone's near. 170, plenty of time. All right. Goodbye, crappy gear. Hello, second mushroom stew. Hello, good weapon. Goodbye, all crap weapons. Let's just double check the compass. All right, 100 meters away. Getting closer, but, you know, we're good enough. It's fine, plenty of time. Uh, fishing rods can go. Let's check the compass again. 112 meters away, closest person. That's fine, plenty of time. We'll keep the sticks over there. Goodbye, other compass. Four shots with the bow. We'll put that on the bar so I have it. Keep the bow for sticks if I need them. Frost is getting a little bit close. And 100 meters away. So, yeah, cool. All right. Well, uh, food, armor, weapon. I think we've got a run up for this win. We've got a chance. Now, what I could do with is an enchanting table. And then I could enchant this weapon. Um, enchanting table could be in the center. We did find that one in that random hut. But honestly, I don't really remember where that was. And I think it's frozen over by now. Oh, deathmatch is starting in 60 seconds. There's only four people left. Whoa, what a quick round for you. Jesus. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Um, I'm going to need the enchanted gear, I think, if I'm going to pull this off. Uh, I don't know what kind of gear the other people are working with. But um, there's always that chance that it'll be better than mine. So that advantage, I could sort of reel back in with an enchantment table. Let's keep the compass ready so I know if anyone's coming. I don't think there's an enchantment table in the center, unless it's like on top of the tree. Let's uh, run back a bit, eat some meat. Can you see an enchantment table up there? I'm not sure if I can. No, I can't. Well, uh, we we have uh, we have it about to begin with the death match. Good luck to me. Uh, bad luck to the enemy. Shame I couldn't find an enchantment table. This is gonna. It's all gonna go down now. It's all gonna go down right here. Okay, four four people in the death match. He's got all right gear. He's got all right gear. So I'm gonna go for you first, I believe. Good luck, friend. Here we go. Here we go. So he did get me there. Right, so I think I'm going to be able to beat him, and the other people are having a 1v1. Okay. I'm going to eat a mushroom stew, so I'm regening. Someone died over there. I think he's regening. Alright, yeah, yeah, that's it. Fight each other, fight each other. Yeah, yeah, keep them low. I'm going to go for you while you're low. Yep, that's one down. Okay, so this other guy's low. Eat the chicken. Get towards him, then pop the regen. Pop the regen. Popped. Regen popped. And... Come on! Come on! Ooh! Yeah! That mushroom stew just won me the game. I had two mushroom stews. GG. Two mushroom stews pulled me through. Being the knight, tanking the damage. I didn't use the pummel. Didn't use the pummel at all there. 
But yeah, as you can see, you know, people do complain that the hero classes are strong, like the assassin doing two damage from behind. But the thing is, Knight is a free class. You don't have to spend any gems to use Knight, and I just won using Knight because it reduces damage, and obviously the pommel blinds them if you need to run away. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, more Hunger Games with viewers when I get the stream going as the servers become more stable, as you guys know. And uh, yeah, more with teams and other guys. So please leave a like if you enjoyed the quick video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.